guys. Hello, hello. Um, I say this in like every single video, but this is really going to be a really short video. Um, we got asked to do this. Um, basically, how we run our Boas Barrel Sterilizer. Um, there's really not that many videos out about it. Uh, all right. Yeah. So let's so start with um, first of all, loading your Boas Barrels. Um, so we obviously will stack uh, seven per row, and then we end up with 35. Uh, bags per batch um, every time we do the sterilize, sterilizing. Um, yes. <laughs> These are um, and we fold them with a filter <laughs> patch down. Um, we've just seen that that's obviously what works best for us. Um, you can't fit 40 in here if you just absolutely shove them in. Um, so this is 100, what is it? 180 gallon or something like that? Yes, I think it's 80 the gallon. gallon. The second largest one. It's 80 gallon. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah. So. All right, second would be the pressure regulator. So this guy plugs into your water source, and then your hose will plug into that. Uh, you definitely want to make sure that you plug that in. We forgot to do that one time. We came back uh, to check on it periodically. I think it was 30 minutes later, and the whole thing had filled with water and overflowed. So right, do that. Yeah, so and then um, your hose will hook into, depending on how far away um, it is, you could just hook this into the regulator and into a water source, but we obviously need the link. So. Yeah. The hose gets into this, um, which goes into this. If you use a regular hose, you cannot put this hose directly on here. It has to be, it's a threaded backwards kind of thing. So there's that. And obviously you need to plug it in. <laughs> yes. um, we run it in here, after we load it obviously. Uh, we run it in here and then um, there's these vent holes on the lid. That was not there originally. We had them send us a new one just because it kept warping. Um, and they, that was like an upgrade or something like that. Yeah. So it vents very minimal at the 120. Mm -hmm. And then the 240 <laughs> is explosive. So yeah. don't do it inside. Um, next, you know, gotcha. Um, so we also have a little folding like ladder um, that we use, and I know that sounds kind of ridiculous, but if you see this thing is like yeah up to chest high. So uh, we both of us have gotten huge bruises across our chest from trying to stand up here and put the bags in and just falling directly on top of it. Um, so just comes in handy, obviously, if you have one of those. Um, as far as uh, yeah running uh, will be the next step. So the complete instructions are going to be on the website. Um, for operating it. Um, it is a little bit hard to understand, but I mean, just give it some time. Obviously, with everything, it takes you know practice. Right. And what we do is we set it to 205. I think um, people set it to 200. That's the thing. You have to do 200, 18 hours, whatever, um, once it reaches temperature. But we're at sea level. I think we're like under <laughs> or like right at or something um, at, in uh, Largo, Florida. So we don't have to cook it as long as others. We get away with 16 hours. And we found that out. Um, obviously, there is this here and tells the temperature here. But um, we bought one of these. And basically, we thread it through this, the holes, the vent holes, and into a bag. And so we just put it in the bag, fold the bag over, pop it out the, the top, and then set it on top of this little wooden thing on top so it doesn't fry. And basically, it will tell us um, through an app on our phone exactly how long it takes to reach temperature and and it's very helpful so um, so um, once you're done with sterilizing uh, we will just basically drag it over and uh, first we want to drain the water out of it it's very hot so obviously keep that in mind as soon as you hit the little release valve on the bottom there um, make sure that wherever you're you know draining to is not going to harm harmful harm it yeah, and we definitely like to speed things up if you want to, you know, go, go, go. You immediately drain it and then, you know, unhook it and everything. And as soon as you're able to, and we use the hot hands, and I love these things so much, there's little hearts all over them. We use the hot hands and um, obviously we clean the outside. Don't use alcohol on silicone, there's that. Um, and it's really easy. It actually helps grip the bags more. So yeah. So we unload our bags into our lab um, in front of the flow hood so that it's you know clean air in there um, and they can cool off a little bit faster um, than if we were to just leave it inside the sterilizer. Um, so that means we can obviously have the turnaround time uh, be a lot faster and we can inoculate those bags quicker. Um, other than that, I think see. Yeah, 
I'm going to add the link to the Bubba's Barrels instructions um, to show you how to set up this, basically just pushing certain buttons and whatnot. I'm not going to waste your time with that. Um, just install Flash on your phone. You can read that. It's super helpful. Um, talked about the Pro. Talked about the timing. 205. I think that's it. Yeah. I mean, honestly, it's, it's really not that difficult. And as long as you're just sterilizing long enough, then you got it. I yeah. mean, um, double check everything before you start. I like to call it a her. <laughs> start her up. Um, yeah, that's we haven't had any problems other than you need to replace the wiring in the box uh, every six months. And I think that's in our last video we had a little issue with burning on it. <coughs> not a big issue. Yeah. Um, but anyway, yeah, the, the team at Bugs Girls is extremely helpful. They've always been like on the ball. And Rex is amazing. So if you have any questions, like just reach out to them. Um, this is not, we did not come up with this. This is just what we're using. And yeah. um, this is how we do it. So awesome. Um, thanks for watching. All right, have a good one.